if f dash of x is equal to x minus 1 upon x square and f of 1 is given 1 by 2 then f of x is given that f dash of x is equal to x minus 1 upon x square and we know that integration of f dash of x dx is equal to f of x plus c So let us integrate on both the sides. Integrating on both the sides will have integration of f dash of x with respect to 2x dx is equal to integral of x minus 1 upon x square dx. So integration of f dash of x we can at f of x and is equal to integral of x dx minus integration of 1 upon x square we can at x to the power of minus 2 dx so we can write here f of x is equal to integration of x is x to the power of 2 by 2 since we know that integration of x to the power of n x uh, x to the power of n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c and here minus x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 plus integral constant c take an integral constant on only one side together both so that we can write here f of x is equal to x square by 2 plus x to the power of minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 and denominator minus 1 we can add so we get here it is plus 1 upon x plus c now it's given f of 1 is equal to 1 by 2 f of 1 is equal to 1 by 2 which implies substituting we get f of 1 is equal to one square by 2 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 that is 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c so here c is equal to minus 1 substituting back again we will get f of x is equal to x square by 2 plus 1 upon x minus 1 so we can say the given function f of x will be x square by 2 plus 1 upon x minus 1 which is option a the value of integral e power x into x minus 1 upon x square dx which can be simplified e to the power of x into x upon x square minus 1 upon x square dx that is e power x into 1 upon x minus 1 upon x square dx or we can also write this is e power x into 1 upon x plus of minus 1 by x square dx so which is equal to e power x times of 1 upon x plus and we know that the differentiation of 1 upon x is minus 1 by x square so we can get d by dx of 1 upon x dx we had a property that integral e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx is equal to e power x into f of x plus c so that we can write here which is equal to this is f of x say this is f of x and so here it is f dash of x plus and here e power x so we can write the answer as e power x into so e power x into f of x here f of x is 1 upon x plus constant that is e power x divided by x plus c so we can go with an option a so option a is the answer The value of integral e to the power log x 
upon x to the power 100 dx and we had a properties in logarithm e to the power of log x when bases are same so which is equal to x and here the base is e so we can write here integral e to the power of log x to the base e we can write it as x divided by x to the power 100 dx that is 1 divided by x to the power of 100 minus 1 that is 99 dx or we can also write x to the power of minus 99 dx and we have integral x to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c so we can write x to the power of minus 99 plus 1 divided by minus 99 plus 1 plus c or we can write x to the power of minus 98 divided by minus 98 plus c or we can write minus 1 by x to the power of 98 into 98 times 98 times of x to the power of 98 so we can go with an option plus c so option d is the answer integral dx upon e power x plus e to the power minus x dx so we can write dx upon e to the power of x plus 1 by e power x dx that's a dx The value of integral 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx. So let us consider to be as i. Let i is equal to, that is an equation 1. And we had a property integral 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx so by using this property we can write i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log of tan pi by 2 minus x which is equal to 0 to pi by 2 log of tan pi by 2 minus x is cot x dx let us consider to be second equation now adding 1 and 2 so we'll have i plus i 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x dx plus integral 0 to pi by 2 log of cortex dx so that is 2i is equal to 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x into cortex. Since we know that log a plus log b log ab. Since the integral limits both are same 0 to pi by 2, 0 to pi by 2. So we can write log of tan x plus log of cortex. We will get log of tan x into cortex and tan x into cortex is 1 so we can write here 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 log of tan x into cortex is 1 so log 1 is 0 so we can write 0 to pi by 2 0 dx which is 0 so i is equal to 0 so we can have the answer integral is 0 option b the order and degree of the differential equation d cube y by dx cube is equal to root of dy by dx plus x a squaring on both sides so we can write 
d cube y by dx cube whole square is equal to dy by dx plus x. Since here the right side dy by dx plus x is having the radical power. So to remove the radical power squaring on both sides is done. And now we can see this is a differential equation with the highest, highest order is 3. <coughs> order is 3 and degree of that highest order is 2. So we can declare that order of the differential equation is 3 and degree is 2. So which is option A. The order and degree of the differential equation d square y by dx square is equal to square root of dy by dx plus x. Since the right side is having the radical power that is dy by dx plus x whole to the power 1 by 2. So let us do squaring on both sides. So we have d square y by dx square whole square is equal to dy by dx plus x. So which is a differential equation with the highest order is order is 2 and its degree is the power is 2. So we can say degree is 2 and the highest order is 2. So which is option 1. If m and n are the order and degree respectively of the differential equation, 5x times dy by dx whole square minus d square y by dx square minus 6 times y is equal to log x. Then the value of m plus n is. Since the given differential equation is having the highest order is 2 and with the power is 1. That is d square over by dx square whole power is 1. So we can say that order of the differential equation is 2 and its degree is 1. Say this is m, order is m and degree is n. So we can say the sum m plus n is equal to 2 plus 1 which is 3. So option C is the answer. The sum of order and degree of the differential equation 2 times d square y by dx square plus 3 times root of 1 minus dy by dx whole square minus y is equal to 0 or we can write 2 times d square y by dx square minus y is equal to minus 3 times root of 1 minus dy by dx whole square or on squaring on both sides to remove the radical power. So 2 times d square y by dx square minus y whole square is equal to minus 3 whole square into 1 minus dy by dx whole square. Upon squaring on both sides, we will have the highest order derivative on the left side with the 2 times d square y by dx square. When it is squared, so we will be having whole square and 2 square here and so on. The equation, the left side and the right side we had only first order derivative since we required the order and degree. So the highest order is with 2 and its degree will be the power 2. So we can take degree is equal to 2. So sum of order and degree will be 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4. So option C will give the answer. Find the general solution of the differential equation dy by dx is equal to 1 plus x plus 
y plus x y. Upon simplifying the right side, one plus x. If y is taken common, one plus x. So we can write dy by dx is equal to one plus x taken common. So we can write one plus y. And now separating the variables. So dy upon one plus y is equal to one plus x into dx. So which is variable separable form. And hence integrating on both the sides. Integrating on both the sides, we have integral dy upon one plus y is equal to integral of one plus x dx. So integration of one upon y, one upon one plus y is log of one plus y is equal to integration of one dx is x. Integration of x dx is x square by two plus c. Since we know that integration one upon a x plus b dx is equal to log mod of a x plus b plus c, and integration of integration of x power n dx is equal to x power n plus one by n plus one plus c. By using these two, we can get the solution. So we can go with an option A. The integrating factor of the given differential equation x dy by dx plus y minus x plus x y cot x is equal to zero. So let us simplify this. Rewrite the equation x dy by dx plus y plus x y cot x is equal to x. Or we can get x dy by dx. Or dividing, dividing with x. Let me. Let us divide with x. Both the sides. So we have x upon x dy by dx. Plus y upon x plus x y cot x upon x. Is equal to x upon x is one. Or we can write dy by dx plus y if taken common, one upon x plus cot x is equal to one. And this differential equation is in the form dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to q of x, whose integrating factor we can write integrating factor i f is equal to e power integral p of x dx and hence we can give the integrating factor here integrating factor is equal to e to the power integral p of x here p of x can be taken as 1 upon x plus cot x so we can write 1 upon x plus cot x dx That is e to the power integration of one upon x is log x, and integration of cot x is log of sin x. Which is equal to e to the power of log x into sin x. Since we know the property, log a plus log b is equal to log a b. And here, since the base of logarithm is e. And by using the property e to the power of log a to the base e is equal to a, and hence here we can write in place of a it is x sin x, so we can write into x sin x. So the integrating factor for the given differential equation can be taken as x sin x, which is option B.